Now, let me quickly put this out there. What you're actually seeing on the screen is the body of the formal or yes, the former chief of staff, General Lagbaja. It has landed Lagos and they are heading to Abuja where I believe the funeral will be conducted tomorrow. Now, I said, let me just bring this news out before I get into the video proper. A pleasant day to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family, active citizens and Nigerians. Thank you for joining me once again. Now, as the day goes by, it becomes clearer and clearer that this government, the role of this government is to put sufferings, pain, penury on Nigerians and then to live fat and live big and come out with lies and propaganda and try to defend themselves. Now, yesterday I made an expose that came from Sahara reporters where I said that Tinubu bought some cars with 5.1 billion. We talked about some of the expenses recently that he used in in the lagos residence of the vice president around five billion and these guys all they do is to borrow and actually just spend wastefully or share among themselves now events have proven time after time that these guys are just dead for their own selfish and you know personal interests without the interest of the people at heart and it's quite unfortunate that all they do is to come out and try as much as possible to deceive the people that they're actually working use lies and propaganda fake you know um, statistics and the rest telling the people that oh their government is actually doing the needful and in no time make very very fake promises that in no time things are going to change and every day the realities are on ground and nigerians are seeing it now most recently i think that was yesterday no ribado granted an interview which i actually i put a snippet of it in my morning video where he was talking about what the government have done and what the government have achieved and how that Tinubu is somebody that nobody messes around with. Now, Refai has a very perfect answer for him because the truth is you can't gaslight, you can't, you can't deceive Nigerians no more. A lot of them are smart. Refai is giving him a very, very decent answer. But before I do show you that video and all that, let me quickly tell you that very dark man was in court in Lagos today for his case with Files Falana you know and trust me it was a shutdown for him i never knew that he had such kind of fans people gathered around and they came to actually stand in for him in court he has started building some kind of momentum and nigerians are loving him for what he does trying as much as possible to be the voice for the voiceless and these are the kind of people we need in nigeria that are open to the core and they stand in when it comes to the issue of justice let me show you what happened in the court today and when i come back we'll continue please watch <laughs> Yeah. The 
person that was alert, that, that was on call, that had a wealth record, talking to somebody on the phone, is not even in the call. But right now, that right now. Now you've seen it right a lot of people there trying to show their loyalty to him and trying to show their respect for what he actually does now the truth is there is nobody that is perfect there is nobody that is that has the monopoly of wisdom and everything every single day on the job we learn every single day we try to improve ourselves so you don't expect him to be that perfect guy as far as he is doing something that is that is bringing positive vibe to humanity I think that is good enough. The correction is something that is a gradual process. Getting to learn every day. I remember when he came out and said that, oh, I never knew that you can't use the police uniform without permission and all that. And apologize to them. You know, sometimes the more you do the job, the more you get experience, the more you get to learn, the more you get better. But the, the, the major thing is the mindset towards what you're doing. And it's very clear that he has a very pure mind towards, you know, helping humanity. And that really, really matters to a lot of people. He might not be, he might be, you know, he might not place it in the right way sometimes, <clears throat> which is natural with anybody. We cannot be perfect. So what we do is to strive towards perfection. But the fact that there is this mind to actually try to be the voice for the voice level, even when it has, even in a system that is quite tyrannic, and we know how the dictatorship works around here. And how they want to silent people that are actually coming to talk for the people, to speak or speak up for the people. He is still willing to put his life on the line, put himself on the line. You know, recently he came out to to help the people that were their 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 shanty was destroyed in Abuja to speak for them. Went there in the night to actually you know get mosquito nets and all that to help them. That is the mindset. That's what Nigerians are looking for. And no matter how it turns out in the court case, I need Fallon as them to, uh, to realize that it's, 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 people make mistakes. And when they apologize for the mistakes, you just move on. But you can see the level of love he's attracting. Because Nigerians, after they've seen the, the person behind the character that he is, that the conscience is open, the conscience is free. I learned that the case was actually adjourned. And I hope that they resolve this thing without pressing any more, you know, let further pressure or anything on anybody. Let them just fix it up and let it pass. Because we need those voices. We need people that can speak up and there are very few. Trust me. In a, in a country where it's, there's so much manipulation, so much lies, so much propaganda from the government, we need people that can step in and actually call their bluff. And that is why the next video I'm going to show you is that of Rifai. Listen to what he had to say about no Ribado's shenanigans. And when I come back, we'll wrap this up. Should it be this scene in public, be the one making a case, making a stump speech of some sort? I thought the role of a national security advisor should be the one coordinating all the efforts, you know, and giving to the relevant departments to be able to push it out there. So this was quite bullish. It was like stump speech. In fact, in my mind, I was like, is Ribadu running for president or something? Or, you know, because this is a hype man speech. Secondly, he said a lot of things. Let me tackle them real quickly. He said nothing has defeated uh, President Tinubu. I know one thing that has defeated President Tinubu. Hunger, poverty, pain, misery of the Nigerian people, inflation has defiled President Tinubu in this last 18 months. And that's the reality of a lot of Nigerians because Nigerians want a government that can truly be there for them. He talked about the Lakrawa group. The Lakrawa group is not a new group. So if, based on intelligence, they said this group has been an intelligence circle all this while, why is it that when the Lakrawa choose to announce themselves, that's when we are going after them? I thought the National Security Advisor would have coordinated efforts to be able to decimate them before now. I'll praise them for some of their gains they are making, trying to, as much as possible, fight them. But to a large extent, 
Why did this group need to even kill 13 people in KB before we start saying that we are going to defeat them? Another point he made, he talked about the state of play of the economy, and that's where I was taken aback. And that's why I said, he shouldn't be saying all of this. He said the CBN will prevail and all of that. Yes, optimism is good. That the Naira is going to be stabilized. I mean, what's the role of a national security advisor talking about the stability of Naira in the first place? As we speak today, despite all the intervention, the Naira has still ballooned up to the 1,700 threshold. A lot of analysts said it was going to find its fair value at 700. That has also impacted the economy. Now you see it right. It's only, a, I don't even know how to call how lame a person is that will go and listen to this kind of person and clap for him and believe that they mean well for this country. Every single day that passes, there are clear indications that the people will be thrown more into more hardship, into more sufferings, into more pains. Because it is always, it, it's, not, it's not even something we should negotiate. Now go to your area and ask how much is a bag of rice and give it three days from now or a week from now or two weeks from now and go back and ask. You'll be shocked at what you will hear. Why? Because the system is, the, is, is a government that wants to just favor the, the cabals themselves and leave everybody out. And they have told the people, maybe they are not pressing the lights very well. So he actually came out to do it himself. Maybe Bayon Onuga is not winning the crowd with the lies. Bayon Onuga might not be a professional liar. Let me come and say it myself. If they hear from the NSA, maybe they will take it seriously. And they forget that this thing is something that people can see, people can actually feel. It's not some Disney kind of thing or spiritual. The hunger is real. People are feeling it. The insecurity is real. People are feeling it. The abject poverty is real. People are feeling it. The lack of education is real. Illiteracy is real. Out of school children, real. So how do you now come to convince somebody that is literally seeing what is happening to him every single time that you are actually doing the job of protecting him when he's seeing that his people are being killed on a daily? You're actually doing the job of providing for him when he's seeing that poverty is literally everywhere and he can't even, even two square me he can't get. You are doing the job of of secure uh, of 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 health and all that, and, and you keep seeing them coming out to just cook these things and put them down. And all he came to do was like an agboro trying to heal his master. Hey, you can't fight against Tinubu and win. Little wonder he lost when he was the EFCC chairman. I remember the time he was dragging Tinubu, the same Tinubu. And at the end of the day, Tinobu overcame him and carried him and put him in a smaller position. Now he's a praise singer, lauding the name of Tinobu everywhere. That is the politicians we have in this country. Anywhere Belef is, as far as he's favoring me, let me die. People with no integrity, no competence whatsoever. All they know how to do is to focus attention on where they are going to reap more. And I can tell you, it has been a government of reaping for the politicians. Because we've seen the whole thing. I made a video this morning where I was talking about the padding of the whole budget. How that Tinubu and Apabio had logger held, had logger head, and then J Jackson Ude was the one that actually, you know, brought out the expose. But it's, quite, it's quite unfortunate. I love the fact that Refai was very real, telling him, look, you can't gaslight the people no more. You can't deceive them. You can't confuse the people no more. You can't use propaganda and lies and try to sell something that is a colossal failure. And it's quite unfortunate. The realities are on ground. It's a government that deliberately have refused to fix stuff. And what they try to do is to deceive the people that they're actually working when we see them sharing money. And thank God for the internet. The internet, the, 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 the internet does not lie. A lot of truth are being exposed there and a lot of Nigerians are seeing it. And it's good to see that Nigerians are gaining confidence to come and call out the government every single time. Because the hardship is too much. If you don't, at the end of the day, you still face it. Do you know Malaya said, if we talk, we die. If we don't talk, we die. Let's talk and die. Let me drop this here, guys. Please drop your comments in the comment section. Really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed remaining part of the day. I'll see you next time.